Welcome to Clarity Overview presentation. Uh, my name is Matt Derry. Uh, I'm a financial analyst in the Dean's Office, School of Medicine, of course, at the University of Virginia. So, um, uh, welcome everybody. Thanks for coming out. Um, if you're wondering why I'm giving this presentation, it's because I'm very bad at bets and I'm lost. So, um, I get to come up here and give this presentation. <laughs> Um, the, uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to go over the new Clarity system. Um, we're going to take a look at, uh, at the structure of it, um, what it does, what it doesn't do, um, how we ended up here. Um, and uh, the hope is, um, having gone through Oracle training and gone through training for several other, other systems, a lot of times you kind of wonder what in the world it is, um, how these things all tie together, how do they work together, why do I have to behave this way inside of this system. Um, and hopefully this will take away some of that black box and help you understand how the system works behind the scenes so that whenever you're in there working with the system, you can understand what it's trying to do, what it's asking you to do. Um, so that would be my hope is at the end of the day, you're not going to be able to you know, walk out of here and be able to fully flesh out your budget with no more training. But my hope would be that whenever you go to training, whenever you see something, it'll kind of click and make sense. So I'm, what we're doing today is I'm going to lay out the dots for you. And then the training and your use of the system is going to connect those dots and kind of make a full picture for you. Um, so I hope that uh, it's helpful for you guys. Um, and feel free uh, to ask questions during the presentation and afterwards. So the first thing we got to do is we got to talk about what are the critical components uh, to Clarity. Let's describe those critical components and see if we um, can take away some information for you. Uh, weighs in at 1.5 kilograms. Takes up uh, 1,200 cubic centimeters. Has two halves. Um, three major components and fires off 100 trillion instructions per second. Anybody doubt that? <laughs> what we're talking about is the human brain. The most important component of Clarity is what's in between the two ears of the people that work at UVA. Long before Clarity, long before any computer system, the most important thing at UVA was what's in between the two ears of the people that work at UVA. Long after Clarity is gone, um, and long after all of our reservoir computer systems have replaced with something else, and all of us are pushing up daisies. The most important thing at UVA is what's in between the two ears of the people that work here. Um, it's important to understand that Clarity is a communication tool. It's a way to take the knowledge that you have and that the collective knowledge of your department and convey that information to somebody else. That's what Clarity does in its best day. So understand that one of the critical components you're not going to see on any flow chart, you're not going to see in any place on any diagram is you. So let's move forward with that and see how we so how do we end up with Clarity? Um, why did we get this system? Um, I don't think it was that we just decided, hey, let's buy a new budgeting and financial reporting system. We probably had a reason why we needed to get here. Um, and the reason that we, that we ended up with Clarity is uh, there's actually a word for it in, um, in the IT um, lexicon of, called big data. Um, we have systems that are incredibly adept at capturing infinite amounts of minutia data on a lot of different data points. Um, our HR systems are almost down to a detail level of saying, what's this person's favorite color? Um, we can collect data upon data upon data on transactions, on people, on all different sorts of things. What we don't have so much is something that will process all that information. So we spend a lot of time in the weeds. We spend a lot of time down in the details of stuff, which is important. And those systems will still exist with clarity around. Um, but what we don't have is we don't have something that will take this information and give it to us in some sort of concise and succinct format that we can deal with. So how do we solve it in our old ways? What we do is we had systems that were small data systems that sliced up bits of the data into pieces and then um, gave it to us in some way that we could connect. Then we used some of those 100 trillion instructions per second to connect all those various small data systems in our heads and on pieces of paper and on ghost systems to collect that information so, and, and give it to us in a way that we could understand. So what Clarity does is it's a big data system. It replaces all of that, um, or most of that at least. Um, what, it does, what it's able to do is it's able to go out and get the information in a big tent sort of way and then look at the information and give it to us and report it back to us in a way that's easier for us to digest. Um, and, but it does this through a process. So exactly how does it work? What Clarity does is it pre-organizes the information, first of all. Um, so how does it pre-organize the information? It's built on what's called a cube database. Um, it has, the, inside the database system of Clarity, there are cube databases and regular relational databases. Um, so what exactly is a cube database? Um, a cube database is like a pivot table. And that's the real meat of Clarity. That's what really makes it tick and what makes it behave in a different fashion than a lot of other systems. 
So a pivot table, if you're familiar with it in Excel, you take a, um, a standard spreadsheet, you highlight the area you want to analyze, and then you kick off another spreadsheet, you tell it what parts to look at, and it gives, it, it gives you the information in the way that you tell it to lay it out. And then you can kind of spin that around and look at it different ways, take things from column to row and look at stuff different ways, hence the name pivot, right? That's just kind of the same way that Clarity works, is it's got these cubes that take the, the, the big massive data and go ahead and pre-organize it. A lot of times we know what the question is before, before we even ask the data. We know and we're asking the same questions over and over again. So it goes ahead and does some of those calculations ahead of time um, so that we, whenever we query it, it's already pretty much ready to answer our, que answer our questions. Um, the next thing it does is that it, makes it, it has these hierarchies and um, alternate hierarchies. The same way as in a pivot table you select which parts you're going to, you know, which play parts you want to pick in and where you want to put them, those hierarchies are set up inside of Clarity um, to give us, uh, um, you know, a way to look at the data. There's also alternate hierarchies, so if you have something that you want to look at one way and then you want to spin around and look at it another way, we have hierarchies that we can choose, pick and choose on the report. A classic example for some people um, would be like award owning or and project owning org. We have hierarchies set up for both of those so we can look at that because that's two different sets of information from a metadata level get a little too technical there, but anyway. The next thing is that it's an analytical tool. So the same way as a pivot table um, will we'll take away some of the detail. Um, if you have a massive amount of detail, you can pick and choose and take away some of the detail. Um, and Clarity does that also. It's not to say there's no detail in there. Um, it's just in certain instances, in certain reports, in certain templates, it takes away the detail um, so, that, so that it allows you, kind of pulls you out of those weeds, pulls you out of those trees, gets you up to a 3,000 foot level, 10,000 foot some of these templates, 30,000 foot level. So look at things in a novel, a little bit different way. Get you away from the detail that we, you know, kind of wallow in all the time. Um, the next thing that it does to make it a big data system is it uh, is, is the integration. So integration means many different things inside of Clarity. So one thing that it does is it integrates information from disparate um, data sources. So it brings in data from Oracle, of course, um, also from Epicor, Ulticrow, <coughs> Precision, Basic Science Funding Model. Um, also from commitments, uh, which are allocations from the dean's office out to the department. So it's bringing in all these data, and there's more than that, um, but it's bringing in all this data and bringing it into the system uh, and integrating all that information in one place. So that's what the first thing it does. The other thing is that it is um, uh, integrated with, within itself. Um, so a good example of this would be that if you are a clinical department and you add in a new provider, you're going to see that provider um, in your HR template and the SOM level, but you're always going to see that provider show up in clinical revenue um, and show up you know, instantaneously or you know, pretty quickly. Um, so that's integrated within itself. So not only is it integrating information into it, it's integrating within itself. So now UPG parts can talk to SOM parts and SOM parts can talk to you know, other SOM parts and that sort of thing um, and very quickly. Um, the next thing is that it allows, it, it has an integration that we haven't really had up to this point of reporting budgeting the actual on all fund sources. So now we're going to be able to integrate in and truly use our budgets and our forecasts um, to compare to our actual. So you know, what do you want to be when you grow up and then when you get there, what exactly, you know, how are you off and how are you right? So it puts you in better touch with um, how close you are to the drivers for your budget. Um, the uh, next thing is that um, you're going to be able to uh, append documents inside of certain templates uh, in, inside of Clarity. So that back of the envelope sketched on the napkin conversation you had with the chair at lunch, you can scan that and append it in here now if you want to. Um, you'll also be able to add cell notes in certain templates. So if you want to um, you know, explain for yourself or for someone else exactly what you were trying to document in a certain cell in a certain template, you can do that. Um, so you'll be able to, that's, those two pieces right there are information that we don't have a system for currently that now we can bring that data that exists somewhere into the system. Um, so that's another neat part of the um, integration. 